Hi, I'm Nicola McKenzie, Found Out Mortgage and Insurance Specialist here at DM Mortgages. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about how you can use a lifetime ISA to help towards saving for your first home. So to find out more, stay tuned. Now guys, before we get into the detail of today's video, please make sure you subscribe to the channel and you hit the notification bell if you haven't already so that you never miss any future video uploads. Now it's also worth me mentioning that this video is part of a whole series of videos that's dedicated to deposits in relation to properties. Um, so make sure that you check out the rest of the videos in this playlist. Now here at DM Mortgages, we don't actually monetize this channel and we do that to give you guys the best viewing experience. So to show your support when the time comes to look at your mortgage or remortgage options, then please make sure you head over to our website, which is dm.mortgage, and there you can book in for a free of charge mortgage appointment. Now, the reason I'm doing this video is because a lifetime ISA is definitely something to consider if you're a first time buyer to put towards the deposit for your first home, okay? Now, I want to, in today's video, just go through and explain some of the key points of how a lifetime ISA works um, so that you can obviously weigh up if you feel that it's right for you and help you to make an informed decision. Now, a lifetime ISA is essentially a savings account that allows UK residents, if you're aged between 18 and 39 years old, to save towards either your first home or retirement. Now, you can contribute to a lifetime ISA up to £4,000 a year, up until you reach the age of 50. And then the government will add 25% as a bonus up to £1,000 every single year to the amount that you save in the lifetime ISA. So it's a really good way, guys, to, um, you know, earn, if you like, some free cash that, like I say, you can help put towards either your first home or retirement plans. Now, if you open a lifetime ISA and once you get to the age of 50, at that point, you can no longer contribute to it or receive the bonus past that age. But the account will still stay open and savings will still earn interest or investment returns if it's a stocks and shares ISA. Now, a few key points in terms of eligibility for a lifetime ISA. To be eligible, you have to be a UK resident unless you're a crown servant or the spouse or partner of one. You can withdraw money from the lifetime ISA, but only for the purpose of buying your first home, or if you're aged 60 years or over, or if you're terminally ill with less than 12 months to live. Now, you can withdraw the money for reasons outside of that, but if you do that, you have to be aware that there is a 25% withdrawal charge. With that point, I think it's just worth mentioning that as great as a lifetime ISA is, it is also worth mentioning that really, unless you're going to be using the money for your first home or retirement plans, then it may not be suitable for you. So you really need to weigh up despite the benefits if some of the drawbacks are still going to make a lifetime ISA worthwhile for you. Now, a lifetime ISA, the idea behind it was to replace what was known as the help to buy ISA. But there's some of you out there that might still have help to buy ISA in place, in which case you can still use both to put towards the purchase of your first home, but you can only use the bonus that's accrued on one of those government schemes. So that's also worth mentioning. Now, it's also worth mentioning on that point that you can transfer the money out of a help to buy ISA to a lifetime ISA, penalty free. But if you transfer money from a lifetime ISA back to a help to buy ISA, then in that instance as well, you'd have to pay the 25% withdrawal charge. Now, again, just going back to the earlier point that I raised, you are free to withdraw the money penalty free if you get to age 60 or above. However, if you want to withdraw the money before then, and it's not because you're terminally ill, and it's also not because you're buying your first home, then that's when again, there will be a 25% charge to pay. Now, another point to mention, if you pass away whilst you've got the lifetime ISA, then it would end in the event of your death and there would be no withdrawal charge in that instance for family members to access the funds, okay? 
As a viewer of this channel, I assume that you're considering purchasing a property in the near future. So it's important for you to know that DM Mortgages are an award-winning team of fully qualified mortgage brokers that provide advice to clients all over the UK. Now we spend countless hours making free content for YouTube and other social media platforms to help to give you guys sound and useful information to make sure that you're in the best position to make informed decisions. To support this channel, when the time comes for you to consider your mortgage options, we want you to book a free online mortgage appointment with a member of our fully qualified mortgage advice team. Because without your help and support, keeping this channel going simply isn't possible. Now, we search thousands of mortgage products from high street and specialist lenders to find the right deal for your circumstances. And we also provide a free will writing service to every DM client. So head over to dm.mortgage and book in for a free mortgage appointment when the time comes. And also make sure that you subscribe to this channel if you find the content useful. But for now, let's get back to the video. Now there's a few other key eligibility points that come with a lifetime ISA. The main one being, like I said earlier on, you have to be aged 18 to 39 years old to be able to take one out. But the other point to mention as well is that you have to be buying a property worth £450,000 or less. Now I can think of plenty of regions, London for example, where a typical house price is going to exceed that. So again, depending on what kind of property value you're looking to purchase, a lifetime ISA may not be right for you. Now, a few of the key points to mention, you have to buy the property at least 12 months after you make the first payment into the lifetime ISA in order to utilize the bonus benefit. And also you have to be buying the property using a mortgage. Now, in summary guys, some of the pros and cons with the lifetime ISA, the obvious advantage to it is that every 4,000 pounds you save in a year, the government will top that up by 25%. So that's a thousand pounds or up to every single year purely just for having a lifetime ISA which is obviously a great benefit. The other benefit as well is that the savings in a lifetime ISA are tax free and the other obvious benefit is that of course it's going to assist you in purchasing your first property or even if you don't buy a property saving towards your retirement plans is still going to be beneficial for most people. Now, a summary of some of the cons. The main con is the withdrawal um, penalty. So like I said, if you withdraw money from the lifetime ISA for any other reason other than buying your first property, saving for retirement, or being terminally ill, then you'll have to pay a 25% withdrawal charge. Now, arguably, you could say that that's the bonus that you would have had anyway, but it's still something that you need to factor into your decision making. The other con is that the maximum contribution limit it is capped to £4,000 a year, so that might not be enough for some people. Another con to the lifetime ISA is again, this largely depends on the value of the property you're buying because if it's over 450K, then really you only probably want to consider a lifetime ISA if you're putting it towards your retirement plans. And the other disadvantage of a lifetime ISA is that after the age of 50, you can't contribute to it anymore and you will no longer build up the bonuses after that age as well. So there are some pros with it, there are some cons with it. Nonetheless, it is a very common type of account that a lot of first time buyers that we deal with take out. But of course you have to just weigh up what's right for you and your circumstances. So this video is in no way advice. It should be treated as information just to give you some of the key main points to how a lifetime ISA works. And of course, please do get in touch with us to look at your mortgage options. So head over to our website, which is dm.mortgage, and there you can book in for a free mortgage consultation with the team. As I mentioned earlier in this video, this video is to make up a larger series of videos that's dedicated to specifically deposits in relation to buying a property and also preparing you to buy a property. So I hope that that's been useful because like I say, a lifetime ISA, a lot of our clients use one and it's been beneficial for a lot of people. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you've not already and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.